Hello everybody, I'm Samaras and today we're going to have a quick tip for a specific hypertube accelerator. So you all know hypertubes and you probably saw my guide about the accelerators and today I'm going to show you a specific build I prefer to do for my accelerator because it's uh, power efficient and maybe even more important it has a specific speed. So here it is. The main difference is of course I'm using a jump pad to enter the hypertube. I showed you that in my guide already but a jump pad gives you the speed of about five accelerators. So you have a pretty good speed bump in the beginning and also it's pretty power efficient because you know it only two megawatts instead of the 50 the five entrances would need but probably more important is that you have a fixed speed you enter the hypertube in and that means you have a fixed speed coming out of the hypertube why is that important well because you know exactly where you're going to land and you can place a jelly pad or an additional entrance or a jump pad or whatever there but sadly i have to warn you there's a small catch and that is if you go at very high speeds there's a possibility that your computer can't cope with it and you're jumping accelerators that means you don't get always the same speed coming out uh, but instead you are probably going to have two or three different speeds you can get out that means you have going to have two or three different landing points but you can work with that as well because you have three different landing points or two, you just build a landing point on each of that and that way you're safe anyway. By the way, you can of course use the jump pad for vertical hypertubes as well. Lastly, I want to show you how I usually build those accelerators with a jump pad. So um, here we go, I'm starting to lower my foundation by three meters so not the full four meter foundation but but one meter higher and place the jump pad on there as far back as i can and then i'm going to hide it with the cornered um, ramps which you can just place on top of them and that way you have only a sliver of the jump pad there and on the other side you just place your entrance at the normal height um, about this distance apart sometimes may maybe one uh, meter uh, closer um, just try it out you, you will figure it out pretty fast and that's how easy you have to jump pad to jump into the accelerator and then of course the accelerator i build just by placing the supports side on side next to each other between each second support i'm going to place a hypertube when i have done that for the whole accelerator we are going to delete the each second support and place an accelerator on the first one you actually don't need to delete the second support but i prefer it for the looks and it makes it easier to see that you place the hypertubes right. And lastly, on the last accelerator, I'm going to build the gap. Usually I just delete one uh, accelerator or entrance out of there at the whole thing. That way you make sure that when you come back, you have a gap out of which you can walk out. That's it for the quick tip. If you have any critic, comments, ideas, throw them in the commentary. I would be happy to see them there. Also, maybe consider to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And have fun gaming. See ya!